Hi, my name is Pastor Hal York, and welcome to Truth in the Trenches. Today we're going to be in Proverbs 22, verse 2. The rich and the poor have a common bond. The Lord is the maker of them all. The rich and the poor. It's a comparison we read a lot about, in, especially in Proverbs. You know, the rich often think that they're special, maybe sometimes, not always, but sometimes. Some, they deserve greater respect. They have more worth than the poor. But Proverbs repeatedly warns us and warns the rich that they are not to oppress or mistreat the poor. But the comparison between the rich and the poor are not the only things which breed dis- such attitudes of oppression or distinction in our culture. Let me give you a handful of others. Just to think about the king and the commoner, the famous and the unknown, the employer and his employee or her employee, the upper class, the lower class, those living in the jungles of Brazil and those living in the condos of Manhattan, male and female, the young and the old, the baby in the crib and the baby in the womb. We could all sum sum up all of these things by saying that everyone in the world, no matter who you are, you have a common bond with everybody else in the world. That person you may despise should look down your nose at because they are different than you or poorer than you or has less influence and power than you. Here is wisdom. Remember, you were all created by the Lord. The Lord is the maker of all of us, everyone. We read in Genesis these familiar words, And the Lord God formed man of the dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living being. Then it says, The Lord God fashioned a woman the rib which he had taken from the man and brought her to the man. And the man said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. He shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. All mankind, male or female, rich or poor, regardless of the color of our skin or our birthplace, we all have a common humanity, value, dignity, or common origin, and should be respected as such. We are all created by God. So we need to treat all people remembering who their Creator is. Who their creator is. It is the same God who created you. All mankind should be treated respectfully, with dignity. All men are created equal because they all have a common Creator. And yes, it could be said that in God's providence, some may rise to greater levels of status, riches, and power. We all know that. But it should not make people feel entitled or of more worth or deserving of more dignity than anyone else. It is sin that creates divisions and racism and abuse and oppression. All men are created in the image of God. God created man in his own image and the image of God he created him. Male and female he created him. But all mankind has another common bond as well. We've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. That there is none righteous, not one. And another common bond is there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven that has been given among men whereby we must be saved. There's one message of salvation for mankind. There's one cross that saves, and on that cross on the creator of everything, Jesus Christ. There's one Savior for all mankind, the Lord Jesus Christ. Rich or poor, king or servant, it doesn't matter who you are, where you live, what language you speak, the kind of clothes you wear. We all come to the cross with nothing but our sin. All our righteousness is as filthy rags. The cross is the great equalizer. There's no riches, there's no power, there's no status, there's no special privileges. Everyone stands at the foot of the cross, guilty with one hope. Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for our sins. Everyone has a common bond with everyone else. The Lord is the maker of them all. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. There's one Savior for all mankind, Jesus Christ. There's one message, there's one gospel that saves. That we are all saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. Through a sacrificial death on the cross, where he took our sins upon himself. And God laid on him the iniquity of us all and poured out his wrath on him instead of us. And closed us with his perfect righteousness, if we will place our faith and our trust in him, in him alone. Everyone without exception will one day stand before God in judgment. It's appointed unto men once to die and after that the judgment. All those in heaven who have been saved through faith in Jesus Christ, sacrificial death on the cross for their sins, will one day be singing the same song. Worthy are you to take the book and break its seals, for you were slain and purchased for for God with your blood, men from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and might honor and glory and blessing. 
He is the creator of mankind. Christ is the creator of everything and everyone. And that includes your neighbor. It includes your coworker. It includes your waitress. It includes your doctor. It includes you. Everyone was created for Christ and by Christ. And may this truth guide us and guard us in the trenches of life as we seek to live for the glory of God and the good of others. That the poor and the rich have a common bond. The Lord is the maker of them all. To him be the glory.